So on that note, now let's get started and move ahead with a very interesting chat. And for this, I'm going to now invite on stage the uh, chairman and editor-in-chief of Exchange for Media Group and BW Business World, Mr. Anurag Batra. And ladies and gentlemen, please also, let's have a huge round of applause to welcome on stage the global vice president, revenue and operations with Twitter, Mr. Matt Derelal. Right. First of all, I think Avinash is not in the room, but I must say that Avinash talked like a statesperson, and I hope uh, he's increased your targets. He made it two times so that you can make a difference to people. But really, Avinash spoke well, and his going to Howard has done him some good, and uh, he started to think differently. He presented very well. So I know he's outside the room, but give him a big round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> Clapping is good for health. It relaxes your heart muscles. Can you clap again? For Matt, and there are sensors there. The amount of food and drink you will get is dependent on how many times you clap here. That's so the right. ones who clap more. Can we get claps for Honor Yeah, yeah right. there's a Twitter right. camera. Woo! So Matt, uh, I read your interview on Exchange for Media in the morning. I you read talked every, about Twitter's growth. Every day. I got now you. tell me, when, are, when is Donald Trump getting a stake in Twitter? We're going to start off right there. Um, I'm really happy with the structure of the company right now, with Jack Dorsey as the CEO. So I would like that to stay exactly as is. OK. So you are saying that Donald Trump will not be getting, can I tweet that? Donald Trump will not be getting a stake in Twitter. But on a serious note. I'm glad I didn't have any of the wine yeah. before I got up here. Well, the question would have been still the same. <laughs> So, Matt, you talked about 17% year-on-year growth in the, the quarterly share price is up. People who wrote off Twitter globally last year in terms of revenue, in terms of traffic, in terms of reported numbers, have said that Twitter is a good growth stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They started to bet on it, and these are not yeah. particularly Twitter fanboys. So what has made this resurgence of Twitter happen? In your interview, you talk about Jack's coming back yeah. has really made a difference. So can you tell the audience what is the difference that has happened in the last six to 12 months? Sure. Um, so I remember like uh, on earnings day uh, a couple weeks ago, I was watching uh, CNBC and one of the analysts said, you know, the story on Twitter for years was they can't, they can't, they can't. And now it's they can, they can, they can. And I, I couldn't help but sort of take a moment and say, wow, how quickly things can change. But the, the reality is when Jack Dorsey came back to the company a little over two years ago, um, he brought you know, the moral authority of a founder. And the, one of the first things he did was get us very, very clear as an entire company about who we are and what do we do better than any other company in the world. And that, that identity really came down to us saying, Twitter is what's happening and what people are talking about right now. And that clarity is the decision that makes 1,000 decisions for us. It defines how we prioritize our product features. It defines how uh, we look at potential uh, opportunities and partnerships. It defines how we work with content partners. Uh, and it, it really defines our marketing messages as well. So I think what that did was really get clarity. We had to do a bunch of hard things. Um, you know, if you go back to two years ago, you know, we were looking at um, negative user growth, negative revenue growth, and we had to really focus our company. We sold off businesses. We shut down businesses. We had to restructure and reorganize the company. And it, it was actually really incredibly difficult on our teams, but we had to do those difficult things, they were necessary for us to really get focused and get to the place we are now, which is, you know, in the last quarter, you mentioned 70%. We grew 17% internationally uh, on our O&O on our &O advertising business. Um, we managed to grow users, daily active users, double digit for the fifth consecutive quarter, and we posted our first uh, profit as a company, uh, which is really exciting. So I think we did something that no other company in the internet has done, which is completely transforming inside of 18 months. So, you know, of course you talked about why India is important and we understand why India is important for every social media brand and every business. But 
you know, one of the challenges that I see with Twitter is the kind of content that gets on sometimes, the fake Twitter account. And just before I got on, I posted that I'm having a fireside chat with you, and would you like to ask any questions? So one of my business school juniors said, what action is Twitter taking against Twitter India for their bias? And, you know, he's, he's voicing a certain opinion. Yes. I don't endorse yes. it. Uh, for their bias where anti-India Kashmiri propaganda is allowed, but pro-India tweets on the same are banned. Hmm. So how does Twitter deal with yeah, well, I mean, you know, I, I think abuse it's, of... This is a problem that has you know, been talked about at, at earlier on stage. And you know, for us, it, I'll call it information quality, which is basically a comprehensive way to think about what's happening on the platform, like the health of the conversation. It's the top priority in the company to make sure that we create an environment where um, we can get credible information. Like we want our job, our superpower, is to keep people informed about what's happening and, and to serve the public conversation. The things we try to do include, on the one end, looking at anything that's targeted harassment, abuse, maliciousness on the platform, and try to stop that before it even starts, like by using technology, machine learning, deep learning. You know, if you actually look at the number of accounts that we take down, they're 10 times versus last year. So we've done a ton. There, there is a ton more to do, candidly. Um, on the other side, though, we do do more and more to raise up really credible sources. And I know there's some incredible content partners that we work with here in India. You know, some of the product features that we're rolling out right now, I think, really help us elevate the conversation. So, for example, if you go into the Explore tab, on Twitter right now, you know, you'll see a curated view of um, moments that are a combination of some of the most credit, uh, credible news sources from both sides of the political spe spectrum, all sides. And, and you also will see the, the conversation around that. One of the things that I think makes Twitter special and different than some of the other platforms that may be sort of lumped in here is the public conversation about some of these topics really is clarifying because you don't get one particular view. You do get to see all sides. Um, so it's, it's a huge area for so you're us saying investing. That you got somewhere with it, but there's a long, long way to go in terms of filtering the right yeah. kind of content, right? I, I think, yeah, I think that'd be accurate. I think we've made incredible progress, but the reality is, like, this is something that's still a top priority for the company because we have a lot more to do. So, uh, again, in the interview, you talk about India being important. Yeah. You talk about how events uh, have become an important part of content yeah. and revenue how, you know, today, event owners, event IPR owners, event organizers yeah. are partnering with Twitter to take their content to the audiences that are on Twitter. Yeah. And you believe that's a significant way forward for Twitter in India also. So can you tell us about this, yeah. you know, I think, yeah, cause I think kind of event avalanche, if I may use this word? <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I think for years, we've sort of been lumped in with like social networks. Uh, and that's really not what Twitter is. It gets back to our identity. You know, if, you know, someone, uh, a social platform that's really featured around who you know, and it's got baby pictures and vacations, you know, that's like, look at me, which is wonderful and, and, a, and a massive opportunity, but it's just not what we are. We're, you go to Twitter to say, look at this, and to connect with your interests, the things that you're passionate about, the people who you wish you knew, and well, uh, also the events that are happening. So if Twitter's doing its job, you're hiring it to go and see what's happening right now and to connect with your, what you're most passionate about. That's universally true, but in India, and through my visit here, I've just gotten to know how passionate this country is. And you know, I think that really lends itself beautifully to where we're continuing to take the product. Sure. So, I mean, for example, we've seen some amazing things uh, on the platform in India. Um, certainly, we have all the world leaders. We, certainly, Prime Minister Modi, um, Foreign Minister Swaraj, like, it's incredible. Um, but we also hosted a live stream of the budget. Uh, and that was incredible because what's great is you take, you're not just taking video and putting it on mobile. You're taking the video on mobile and then it's getting enriched by the live conversation, really being able to see all sides. We saw over a million viewers for that. Uh, we did a similar partnership in sport with ESPN. We partnered around the uh, IPL auction, where again, we, the video really helped drive twice the amount of conversation around that. So you drive that passion, you're able to connect with it in a way. 
that I think is really powerful. And, and if you're a content owner, why that's interesting, I think one, we're innovating. You know, you're actually not just taking the status quo and putting it on mobile. You're thinking about how can we make this better? How can we make an unbelievable product for our, our fans? And the, these products are delivering an audience that's typically highly influential, younger, and very hard to reach via more traditional ways. My last question to you, and then we'll take some questions, because you know Rahul Jari from BCCI is there, and we'd love to listen to his views, and hopefully it wake us all He's going to be very provocative today. That's what you told, told me. I'm hoping so, and he had two drinks before he came in, so I hope so. Uh, maybe four, I don't know. We'll know in a while. If you had to do a roadmap for India for Twitter, so let's stick to India. What would be, if we met around this time next year, what would be the three things you would have achieved in India in the next 12 months? Mm. Um, I think number one, I would be hearing from hopefully like all of our users how what an indispensable tool Twitter it's is. been uh, around the elections. I think that would make me incredibly proud. That's something that we're really focused on to make sure that you state know state elections around the corner, sta state elections, and then Next, rolling into the, depending you know, on when the general elections happen could happen at the same time. Correct. Uh, so yes, elections. So I, think, are I think that's a, a massive opportunity for us. Um, I think that. We'll have signed a, a, a group of very important content partnerships that serve the public conversation, um, but really help us experiment and learn and innovate. One of the things that I take away from this visit is that India is going to be an opportun an, a country where we can do some incredible experimentation and innovation. Um, it's a golden age for India right now. Uh, I, I think about what I see you know, in, in the US and in the West while wonderful, all that's happened there is going to happen here, and it's going to happen way faster, and it's going to happen at a way larger scale. So for us to be here and innovating with our partners, I think is going to have a massive impact. And, and I'm not talking about just for next year, but I really, we're hoping to set up ourselves for the next 10 years, the next 20 years. We're trying to build a service that really is an everyday um, utility to help people stay informed with what's happening, what they care about. And, that, that was content partnerships are something that we're taking very, very seriously and have a very long-term view on. You know, and, just and lastly, I, we're going to hopefully have a much, you know, continue to invest. This 2018 for Twitter is a year of growth. Um, we're completely positioned in a position of strength going into this year. And, you know, this is some place that uh, we hope to invest and grow. Just to tell you, Matt, and I'm sure you know, that the two largest players in digital spend are Google and Facebook. Google is about 7,500 crores. Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook is about 3,500 crores. So out of the 15,000 crores, 11,000 crores, roughly, Sam, I'm, I'm there. Yeah. The experts. So it's say. about, so I hope Twitter can benefit well, from the growth that's happening in India. Yeah, I would just say that's true today, but that's not necessarily going to be true in 10 years. Fantastic. Uh, we look forward to your uh, getting more market traction in India in terms of revenue, and I'm sure today's engagement will help. Who's, who, who's your most favorite person that you follow on Twitter, apart from Jack Dorsey? Oh, wow. That, that is, uh, that's a great question. Let me see. Um, I, Scarlett Johansson? I love Roger Federer. Roger I Federer. Love Roger. That's a very safe Roger answer, but Federer. a good answer. Roger I mean, Federer he's, he's a person. Just, he's amazing. And he uses the platform. I, I, I'm, I remember when he first got on the platform, and he was like a little bit nervous and gunshot. He's, he's a little bit of an introvert, and he, the way he sort of embraced it, both Twitter and Periscope, and the access that he's given to people. You know, sometimes in our industry, we're so, we're so privileged. We get to go to these amazing events. We get this access to things, these once in a lifetime, like pinch your skin type moments. But what's amazing is like, we get to fulfill those dreams via Twitter and Periscope every single day. And what Federer does there to give that access, the behind the scenes look into what his life is like, his training, you know, I, I, and he's very, he's very authentic. He is. He's yeah, funny. He, you he's know, he's so very funny. vulnerable. He's very real. He's very emotional. So that makes it more interesting. Uh, he's a lot so like we, you. Pardon me? He's a lot like you. Uh, I, I, I didn't start playing uh, tennis because I wanted him to do well, but <laughs> there's always another life. But coming back, who's the one person you unfollowed, you know, oh, a blocked, a famous person? <laughs> uh, people who ask me that question. <laughs> no, never, 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 never. But you've no. not followed me yet. I, but you haven't followed me yet. So I've, I've you can't following. unfollow me. I've been me following. Follow I've been following. So that's, you first have to follow me. I'll follow. follow. No, I, honestly, I, I, I don't have anyone that I, 
okay. that I can think of that I am Good. About. So we have Matt here. We take two questions. Uh, hopefully the questions are Twitter-like. As uh, I say, short. The, the boss. Yes, Nawal. Can we get him a mic? Uh, yes. A light question, Matt. There were reports last year that uh, Donald Trump was estimated to be worth some $2 billion to Twitter. What's the internal estimates in your company? <laughs> yeah. Is it close to the real figure? Yeah, this is Plus, back. minus? Uh, to my knowledge, there's never been an analysis of that. Um, I, listen, we have Donald Trump, President Trump on the platform. We've got 86% of all the world leaders on the platform. It's pretty amazing to see how the platform is used by these world leaders. Um, and it's really great that we could have conversations around what they're tweeting. So I think that people can get a full 360 view uh, of different perspectives on these issues. But I don't have any specific. He's giving you a safe answer. Pradeep, you wanted to ask a question? Yeah, didn't you raise? So we, we don't have any more. Over there in the back. Yes. What's your name and what do you do? Yeah, hi. Uh, I, I'm working with Laksh Media. My name is Harshal Devrukka. Uh, I'd like to ask a question. Uh, how could uh, Twitter help the outdoor medium, outdoor advertising medium uh, in the best way possible? in the next three years. One, globally, and then probably uh, number two in India. Fantastic question. We're, we're actually doing a lot right now with outdoor media and just um, like signage in general. I, earlier in the week, we were at the Auto Expo, um, and it was pretty amazing to see how it, Twitter's been now integrated. One of the great things about Twitter is that it's public, which means that you can take the tweets and put them all over the world. And it really brings to life the roar of the crowd, the excitement around a launch or around uh, a something going on with a product or a movie. We work with Disney, just to give you an example, uh, around the, the latest Star Wars film. And in the middle of Times Square, they had this incredible uh, image with, uh, with Ray from the film with a hashtag, you know, just sort of showing that she is what's happening. And then we brought fan reactions to the film right there. It really draws the attention of the viewer into something that's really happening live and, and gives a level of Engagement. engagement that it would be lacking in otherwise static or even just a, a movie. So what's wonderful about this is that Disney thought about it holistically. They you know, brought together um, their entire media plan um, thinking about how we can get all these things to work together. So that's just one example, I think, where we could do it. And we're absolutely excited to talk to you about how we could bring that to life in India. Our, our team is right over here. So, so Taran is here. You can meet him offline. Taran is so a country big director. Matt a, give Matt a big round of applause. And uh, how many of you are not on Twitter? How many of you are not on Twitter? Anybody who's not on Twitter? One person here. I'm going to find you. Yes. <laughs> one. There's a lady raised. <laughs> come, and, anyway, come to so, sign you up. So it's a Twitter-rich country, so to say. Yeah. So give Matt a big round Thank of applause right. and so, welcome Rahul Jauri on stage. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to request you to please remain on the stage. And uh, Anurag, if I may request you to present a token of gratitude to our speaker, Mr. Matt Derella. <laughs> 